Hello guys and ladies, in this video what I'm going to show you how to do is how to convert .mts files into different video formats. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so a few people actually asked me to make a video explaining how to convert a .mts file to a different video format that a lot of programs and applications can actually work with by default. So if you're unfamiliar with .mts files or what in the world I'm talking about, just a quick brief overview. A lot of video cameras, a lot of Canon video cameras as well, actually take the video capture and write that to a .mts file and then it stores it on the SDHC card and basically it's very difficult for a lot of these programs out there to actually work with that format if you want to edit the video. So basically we need some type of program application to convert that .mts file to a different video format. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take the SDHC card out of your video camera. If it is, of course, then next you just want to pop that into your computer. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is obviously download this software called Any Video Converter. And I will include a link in the description where you can download this. But just in case that download link doesn't work, just go to Google and search for Any Video Converter. And then click on this link here then you should be brought to a page similar to this so here you can click on this download button and you can also quickly see the different formats that you can convert the video file to and you can also see the platforms that it does support such as 2000 xp windows vista and 7 and you can also use this on the mac so that's really great so click on this download button it should download or start to download automatically for you save it somewhere on your computer where you can easily find it i've already downloaded this for your convenience but that'll be all you have to do as far as downloading it so let me just close out of this next you just want to install the software just like you would any other software not complicated at all i've already installed it here so just double click on the icon after you have installed it all right so once the program launches you want to click on the add video files button and then starting at my computer you want to find the location for your sdhc card mine is in the removable disk drive e i'm just going to double click on that then you want to double click on the private folder then double click on the avchd folder then double click on the bdmv folder and then finally click on the stream folder I don't know why they put it in these <laughs> subfolders like that. But in a way, the file that I'm going to import is my last .mts file. I'm going to click open and then give it a second. And then here you'll see where it loads it into your project area. Then next, what you want to do, or this is optional, you may want to play the file just to make sure it is the one that you want to import if your computer isn't set up to view the thumbnails for the .mts files. So in a way, this is the file that I want to import. I'm just going to go ahead and stop that. So next, you want to go up here to the output profile. Click on this button. It's going to bring down a drop down menu. Here you can see the different video formats that you can convert it to. So for this example, since I am on a PC, I'm just going to go ahead and convert it to a .wmv format. I'm going to click that. All right, so next you may want to come down here and change some of the video options or audio options. And typically for me, the only thing that I change here is the frame size. Mine is already set to 1280 by 720, which is the 720p video. Or if I'm really trying to export it to like a DVD or something, I may select a 920 by 1080. It's really up to you at this point which frame size you want. But in a way, once you have that selected, you can now click on the Convert Now button. And then next you'll see the actual live status of the conversion process and depending on the size of the video it's going to depend on how long this actually takes to convert so keep that in mind but for your convenience i am going to go ahead and speed through this part of the video all right so after you do finish converting the file you will see this pop up but normally i just click on no thanks or i click on this open output file so i'm going to click on that and this is the location where it actually saved your converted files. So the one I converted was this one here. And as you can see by the extension, it's a .wmv format. It's also showing a thumbnail since it does recognize that format on this computer. So if I double click that, that's going to bring up my Windows Media Player. And here you can see the video. 
All right, so that's all you have to do in order to convert .mts files into a different video format. It's a fairly easy process, so hopefully if you didn't know this, you learned something new today. But in a way, it has been fun, and I will see you next time.